from around the globe. It's the Cube with coverage of SUSECON Digital. Brought to you by SUSE. Welcome back to theCUBE's coverage of SUSECON Digital 20. I'm Stu Miniman and happy to welcome to the program one of SUSE's partners. We have Mark O'Regan. He is the CTO of EMEA. Uh, for Dell Technologies. Mark, it is great to see you. We all wish, uh, I, I know when I talked to Melissa D. Donato and, and the team, everybody was really looking forward to coming to Ireland, but at least we're talking to you in Ireland. So thanks so much for joining us. Stu, thanks very much for having me. I'm delighted to be here. Um, you know, really looking forward to getting you guys here. Unfortunately, it wasn't to be, but once we're all safe and well, great to talk. Yeah, well, absolutely, that, that, that's the important thing. Everybody is safe. Uh, we, we've had the Cube a couple of times in, in Dublin. I had actually you know, circled this one on my calendar because I uh, wanted to get uh, back to the Emerald Isle. But uh, Mark, let, let, let's talk first, uh, you know, the, the Dell and SUSE relationship. Uh, you know, disclaimer, you know, I, I've got a little bit of background on this. Uh, you know, I, I was the product manager for Linux uh, at a company known as EMC back before Dell bought them. Uh, many moons ago, so I, I know the you know Dell and the Dell EMC relationship with SUSE uh, go back a couple of decades. But you know, bring us into uh, you know what your teams are working together, uh, and we'll go from there. Yeah, sure, Stu. So um, quite correct. Uh, you nearly a two decade long um, relationship uh, with SUSE, and one that we um, hold very dear to our heart. I think what both organizations have in common is their thirst and will to innovate. Um, and we've been doing that with CISA for 16, 17 years, um, right back to um, you know, uh, CISA Enterprise Linux sitting on you know, Power Edge architecture uh, way, way back in the day into you know, some of the developments and collaborations that we, um, that we worked through with, with the CISA teams. Um, I remember back 2013, 2014, doing a pretty cool uh, program with our f then fluid cache technology. So um, when you look at, you know, um, OLTP kind of uh, environments, what you want to kind of get away from is, is, is the, um, you know, the read, write commits and uh, latency that are inherent in those types of environments. So as you start to build and get more users hitting the, uh, hitting the ecosystem, you need to be able to respond, and SUSE has been absolutely, you know, instrumental uh, to helping us build out an architecture. Then, with our fluid cache uh, technology back in the day, uh, and the uh, and the SUSE technology sitting sitting around and under that, and then of course uh, in more recent times, really extending that innovation aspiration. I guess um, has been absolutely. Um, uh, a pleasure to 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 watch and to be involved with it, see it see it mature. So, some of the cool platforms that we're developing with SUSE together, it's a it's a it's pretty neat. So, um, you know, one of yeah. those being sorry, so so, so so Mark, yeah, well, but you know, bring us up to speed. You know, you, you right in the early days, it was you know Linux on the SUSE side. It was you know servers yeah. and storage uh, from the Dell side. You know, today it's you know, microservice architectures, cloud native solutions. Uh, so, you know, bring us up to speed as to uh, some of the important technologies and obviously, you know, both companies have matured and grown uh, and, and have a much broader portfolio uh, than they would have years ago. Yeah, for sure, absolutely. So, I mean, what's exciting is when you look at some of the architectures that we are building together, we're building reference architectures. So we're taking this work that we're doing together and we're building out architectures that are suitable for small, medium, and, you know, uh, and large environments. And the common thread that pulls those three architectures together is that they are all enterprise-grade architectures. Now, the architectures are used as frameworks. We don't always expect our customers to use them, you know, by the letter of the law, but they are a framework um, by which they can look to roll out um, scalable storage solutions. For example, like the SAS, the SUSE Enterprise Storage Solution uh, that we collaborate with and have built a ref such a reference architecture for. Um, so this is, you know, um, it's, it's built on Ceph, ar uh, Ceph architecture and un under the hood, but, you know, um, both ourselves and SUSE have brought uh, a level of innovation um, 
you know, into an arena where you need cost and you need low latency and you need those types of things that we spoke about, I guess, a moment ago uh, into, you know, this new cloud native ecosystem like that you've just spoken to a few moments ago. So on the cloud native side, we're also um, heavily collaborating and near co-engineering with uh, SUSE on their CAS uh, 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 technologies. So here, um, it's really interesting to look at organizations like SAP and what we're doing with Data Hub and SAP. So part of the Intelligent Enterprise for SAP, this is where SUSE and Dell Tech together really get you know, into looking at how we can extract information out of data, different data repositories. Um, you know, you may have Oracle, you may have, you know, um, uh, you may have uh, HDFS, uh, you may have um, Excel, and you're trying to extract data uh, and information from that data from those different siloed environments. And the CAS technology brings its, you know, its micro OS uh, 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 capability um, to the to the fore in that in that regard, and um, our uh, hardware architecture is the perfect fit to um, to uh, to bring that scale out platform, uh, cloud native platform, into the ecosystem. So, uh, you know, Mark, uh, you, you've got the CTO hat on uh, for for the uh, European theater there. Um, when we've been talking to SUSE, when they talk about their innovation, obviously uh, the community and open source is a big piece of what they're doing. You were just walking yeah. through some of the cloud native pieces. Give us what you're seeing when it comes to, you know, how, how is Dell helping drive innovation, uh, you know, and how does that connect with uh, what you're doing with, with partners like SUSE? Yeah, well, you know, innovation is massively, massively important. And there's a number of different factors that, you know, make up a very good innovation framework or a good innovation program. And at Dell Tech, we happen to have what we believe to be an extraordinarily good uh, innovation framework. Um, we have a lot of R&D budget assigned to uh, helping innovate. And um, we get the chance to go out and work with SUSE and other partners as well. What SUSE and, and Dell Tech do really, really well together is bring other partners and other technologies into the mix. And, um, you know, this allows us to, to innovate, co-innovate together uh, as part of that framework that I just mentioned. So on the Dell Tech framework, we'll obviously, you know, take technologies, uh, we, you know, we'll take them perhaps into the office of the CTO, look at new, you know, emerging uh, tech and look at, you know, more trad traditional tech, for, for example. And um, we will blend those together. And, um, you know, as, as part of the process and the innovation process, we generally um, take a view on some of the partners that we actually want to get involved in that process. And SUSE are very much one of those partners. As a matter of fact, right now, um, we're, uh, we're doing a couple of things with SUSE in, in, in one, one, one in the labs in, uh, in Waldorf in Germany, uh, where we're looking at high availability solution that we're trying to develop and, uh, and optimize there right now at this point in time. Another good example that I can think of at the moment is, um, is looking at how customers um, are migrating off, you know, uh, older, more traditional platforms. They need to look at this cloud native world. They need to look at how they um, can platform for success in this in this cloud native world. And um, we're looking at how we can get smarter, I guess, about migrating them from that, you know extraordinarily stealthy world that they had been in in the past, but, but that need to get from that stealthy world into an even stealthier, scalable world, uh, that is that is a native world. Yeah, Mark, I'm, you talk about customers going through these transformations. I wonder if you can help connect the dots for us as to how these types of solutions fit into customers' overall cloud strategies. So, you know, obviously, you know, Dell has broad portfolio, a lot of different pieces that touch on the cloud. Um, you know, I, I know there's a long partnership between Dell and SUSE and like SAP solutions. We've been looking at how those modernize. So, 
you know, wh wh where does cloud fit and would love any of kind of the European insights that you can give uh, on, on that overall cloud discussion? Yeah, sure. Um, so again, ourselves and CISA go back on, uh, on in, in history, um, you know, on the cloud on the cloud platforming side, I mean, we've we've collaborated on developing a cloud platform in the past as well. So uh, uh, we had an OpenStack platform that we both collaborated on, and um, uh, you know, it was a, it was very successful for both of us. Um, where I'm seeing a, a lot of the requirement uh, in this multi-cloud world that that we're kind of living in right now is the ability to be able to build a um, performant, scalable platform that is going to be able to respond in the cloud native ecosystem. And that is going to be able to traverse workloads from on-prem to off-prem uh, and from different cloud platforms with different cl underlying uh, uh, dependencies there. And that's really the whole aspiration, I guess, of this open cloud ecosystem. How do we get workloads to traverse across across the, the, those types of domain. Um, the other is bringing uh, the kind of, you know, um, performance that's expected out of these new workloads that are starting to emerge in the cloud native spaces. Um, as we start to look to data and extract information from data, um, we are also looking to do so in, in an extraordinarily accurate and an extraordinarily performant way. And having the right kind of architecture underneath that is absolutely, absolutely essential. So I mentioned, you know, SAP's data hub a little earlier on. That's a really, really good example. Um, as is, as a matter of fact, SAP's um, Leonardo uh, framework. So, you know, um, my background is HPC, right? So I will always look to how we can possibly architect to get the compute engineering as close to the data sources as we can. And that means having to, in some way, get out of these monolithic stacks that we've been used to over the last you know, number of decades into a more horizontally scale out kind of architecture. That means um, landing the right architecture into those environments, being able to respond uh, you know, in a meaningful way that's going to ultimately drive value for the users uh, and for um, for the users and for the providers of the services who are who are building these type of um, these type of ecosystems. Um, and again, you know, um, as I said, you know, Data Hub and some of the work that Dell Tech are doing with the CAS platform is absolutely, you know, um, perfectly positioned. To address those types of those types of uh, those types of those types of problems and those types of challenges, and um, on the other side, uh, as I mentioned, the the you know the, the, the storage solutions that we're doing uh, with with SUSE are really, really taking off as well. So I was involved a number of years ago in a SEF program on, on the Irish government network, and um, so these would have been very big. Um, and one of the earliest, to be honest, uh, Ceph farms that I was uh, involved with, uh, probably around five, six years ago, perhaps. And um, the overlying architecture, funnily enough, was, as you would probably have guessed by now, was SUSE Enterprise. Um, and here we are today building, you know, entire, uh, entire um, Ceph scale-out storage solutions with Susan. So yeah, what we're seeing is an open ecosystem, uh, a scalable ecosystem and a performant ecosystem that needs to be able to respond. And that's what the partnership with SUSE is actually bringing. So Mark, I guess the, the, the last thing I'd like to ask you is, you know, we're all dealing with uh, the, uh, the ripple effects of what are happening with the COVID-19 uh, global pandemic. Mm -hmm. Uh, sure. You know, I, I know I've seen online lots that Dell is doing. Uh, I'm wondering what what is the impact that you know you're seeing, and anything specific regarding you know how this impacts partnerships and how you know tech communities uh, come together to in these challenging times. Yeah, that's a great question to end on, Stu. Um, I think it's times like we're living through at the moment when we see you know the real potential 
of um, I guess of human and machine collaboration when you think of the industry that we're in, when you think of some of the problems that we're trying to solve. Here we are, a global pandemic. We have a problem that's distributed in, by, by, by its very nature and, uh, and trying to find patterns, I guess, and trying to model, um, you know, uh, for the treatment of, you know, COVID-19 is something that's very, very close to our heart. So we're doing a lot on the technology side where we're looking to, as I said, model for, for, for treatment, um, but also use distributed uh, analytical architectures to collaborate with, with partners um, in order to be able to, you know, contribute to the effort of, uh, of, of finding treatment for COVID-19. On the uh, commercial side of things, then, Dell Tech are doing a huge amount. So, uh, you know, we're, for instance, we're, we're designing a, um, we're designing a financial model or framework, if you will, where our customers and our partners have, you know, can take our infrastructure and our partners' infrastructure and those collaborations that we spoke about today, and they can land them into their ecosystem with pretty much 0% finance. Um, so it's kind of a, um, it's an opportunity where, you know, um, we're taking the technology and we're taking the capability to, to land that technology into these ecosystems at a very, very low cost, uh, but also give organizations the breadth and opportunity to consume those technologies without having to worry about, you know, ultimately paying up front. They can, they can start to look at a financial model that that will suit them uh, and that will um, that will uh, that will uh, hopefully uh, accelerate their time their time to their time to market and trying to solve some of these problems that we that, that we've been speaking well mark thank you so much for the update uh, definitely good to hear about both the technology pieces as well as uh, some of these impacts that will have a more global impact thanks so much for joining us Stu, my pleasure. Thank you. Take care and stay safe. Thanks. Same to you. All right. I'm Stu Miniman, back with lots more coverage from SUSACON Digital 20. Thank you, as always, for watching theCUBE.